In this session, we will be discussing about equivalent conductance. So, in your previous session, session 4, we have discussed about specific conductance. In this session, we will be discussing about equivalent conductance. So, how to define equivalent conductance? Very simple as the word itself tells, first, first word itself tells, it is the uh, conductance offered by all the ions, all the ions of an electrolyte. So, what should be its amount? Very simple, here it is concentration term. So, as a result, what is the amount of that electrolyte? It is 1 gram equivalent weight of an electrolyte when it is dissolved in an aqueous medium. The ions produced, total ions produced, all those total ions produced, how much do they give your conductance? How much do they offer the conductance is called as your equivalent conductance. So, I can define it as equivalent conductance as it is the conductance, it is the conductance offered by offered by all the ions produced all the ions produced when 1 gram equivalent weight of an electrolytic substance electrolytic substance is dissolved dissolved so it is the conductance offered by the all the ions all the ions produced when one gram equivalent weight very important hence it is called as equivalent conductance when the amount of electrolyte taken its concentration is one gram equivalent weight of that electrolyte when it is dissolved how many ions they produce those many ions how much conductance do they offer the total conductance is called as equivalent conductance now we will be having an illustration that how to calculate this equivalent conductance as well what is the relationship hence the unit of this equivalent conductance here i have taken two illustration illustration one and illustration two to show you how to calculate your equivalent conductance thereby derive in the derive and relationship for your equivalent conductance look into this first cube first box think this as a box whose total area total area is 2 2 centimeter 2 centimeter square so as a result the total area here it becomes 8 cm cube that is this is a, a box with electrolyte whose total area or total volume is equal to 8 cm cube so this is your total volume total volume so the first illustration the total volume of this cube is 8 cm cube i have filled 8 cm cube of water or your uh, aqueous electrolyte here wherein i have dissolved 1 gram equivalent weight of an electrolyte so inside this 8 cm cube of your uh, box i have dissolved 1 gram equivalent weight of the substance so the equivalent conductance that is the conductance offered by all the ions present in this cube is called as your equivalent conductance so total volume is 8 cm cube i have dissolved 1 gram equivalent weight of a substance so this substance dissociates into ions they produce n number of ions all the ions present inside this 8 cm cube of your electrolytic solution what do they offer the conductance is called as your equivalent conductance if i restrict my area volume into say 1 cm cube say this is your 1 cm cube area So, this portion, if I consider only this portion, the area is, that is the total volume here it is 1 cm cube, 1 cm cube. So, only this much of area I am considering volume, volume is how much is the volume, it is 1 cm cube. So, this volume has some ions and these ions have some conductance. So, the conductance offered by this 1 cm cube of the total volume of the electrolyte is called as specific conductance specific conductance why because specific conductance is the conductance offered by 
the elect all the ions present in one cm cube of total volume. While the conductance offered by whole these eight cm cube is your equivalent conductance. As a result, this is your one cm cube which is specific conductance. This is your eight cm cube which is your equivalent conductance. So this is your equivalent conductance. 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 So I can write it as in this illustration. I can write it as your equivalent conductance. Equivalent conductance is equal to eight times that of your specific conductance. Specific conductance. Conductance. Although one gram equivalent weight of a substance is dissolved, the ions that is present in total area, total volume, is called as your equivalent conductance. Conductance offered by those ions. Conductance offered by these ions, which is present in one cm cube of total area, is called as your specific conductance. As a result, in this in this illustration, equivalent conductance is equal to eight times that of the specific conductance. Now, let us come to this illustration. I have a cube here whose total volume is total volume is one cm cube. One cm cube. Again, into this, I am dissolving one gram equivalent weight of the substance. Into this, I am dissolving one gram equivalent weight of the substance. So, the ions that is conducting inside this total volume is again called as equivalent conductance. That is because you have dissolved one gram equivalent weight of the substance. What is the total volume? It is one cm cube. So, the conductance offered by one cm cube of any solution is called as specific conductance. As a result, here in this illustration, equivalent conductance, equivalent conductance is equal to specific conductance. So, in this case, here your equivalent conductance is equal to specific conductance. Why? Because 1 gram equivalent weight of substance, if you dissolve, the total conductance offered by those solutions is called as equivalent conductance. Since the total volume is 1 cm cube, the any solution whose volume is 1 cm cube, the conductance offered by such solutions are called as specific conductance. Hence, in this solution, both are one and the same. From both the illustrations, we can observe that equivalent conductance alone cannot be determined. That is, equivalent conductance cannot be calculated without the help of the specific conductance. As a result, we need a relationship which relates your equivalent conductance with specific conductance wherein you can calculate your equivalent conductance with the help of specific conductance and without the help of specific conductance, you cannot calculate your equivalent conductance. Again, from both the illustration, you can observe that the uh, uh, equivalent conductance is purely depending upon the volume as well as the concentration of the electrolyte taken. So, I can write it as Remember, specific equivalent conductance is symbolized by lambda eq. How kappa is your specific conductance, symbol of specific conductance. Equivalent conductance is symbolized by lambda eq. So, lambda eq is equal to, is equal to kappa specific conductance into volume. into volume. So, lambda eq is your equivalent conductance is equal to kappa is your specific conductance into volume. V is your volume. So, lambda eq it is equivalent conductance conductance kappa is specific conductance conductance V is the volume of solution, solution in which gram equivalent weight of the substance, of the substance is dissolved, dissolved, dissolved. So, the unit of lambda eq that is equivalent conductance becomes the specific conductance unit is ohm inverse meter inverse or you can take it as centimeter inverse into 
V that is volume, volume in cm cube or you can take it in meter cube also. So, I will take it as meter cube, volume of solution in which gram equivalent weight of the substance is dissolved. So, m cube divided by gram equivalent weight. So, the unit becomes ohm inverse meter inverse sorry meter square gram equivalent weight per gram equivalent weight. So, this is the unit of equivalent conductance ohm inverse meter square per gram equivalent weight. So, that is the unit of your equivalent conductance.